Hello, my name is Joanne Knight. Welcome to the barn. I thought since we all had a little bit of time on our hands in this barn, buddy, I would show you a multi-edit for organizing your patterns in Creative Studio. This little folder right here is our 2020 March patterns for Skill Builder. And I'm going to open up Creative Studio. You will notice on this file folder that there's a little zipper right here. So when I open Creative Studio and I go to Import Pattern Folder and I left click, this is my desktop. I'm going to scroll down and you will see an SBC folder, but you don't see that little zipped folder anywhere with that name. And that's because Creative Studio does not recognize a zipped folder, which is a compressed folder. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to left click on Extract All and I'm going to left click on Extract. Now I have this folder extracted. When I double left click on it, you can see all of these patterns. They were in this zipped folder, but Creative Studio wouldn't recognize them. So when I open Creative Studio back up and I go to my import icon and I left click on import pattern folder, it remembers the last place that I was. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and now you see that folder that I extracted. So I'm going to left click on that and I'm going to say OK. And Creative Studio is going to bring up the patterns that were in that folder that do not already exist in my database. If they're white with a green check, it means I do not already have them. It will inherit the name of the folder. I'm going to left click on this little X and I'm going to type in 01J for Joyce Lundrigan and I'm going to hit the plus sign because I want them to be in a collection that's Joyce Lundrigan. When I left click in that same box, you can see that I have a skill builder folder. So I'm going to hit the plus and I can do this as many times as I want to and I can put them in a folder that is SBC 2003 and hit plus which is not a folder that I have. Now I'm going to left click on import all and the little green line is going to go all the way across and it's going to say close. Now, I have a tendency to have my patterns sorted as newest first because I want to get used to them a little bit. When I do this, I can then look at these patterns and I can select this one, hold down my control key and select this pattern. This is called a multi-edit and I'm going to right click and I'm going to left click on view tags and you can see those three collections that I put those patterns in. I also have a keyword that says frame right down here at the bottom because I think those would be good patterns for a frame. So I'm going to hit the plus key on that. If I go over to properties, you can see that it says I'm in multi-edit mode and that tells me that I have multiple patterns selected. Once I do that, I'm going to left click on save and close and I have just put those patterns in a keyword tag that says frame. This one would make a good edge to edge pattern. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to left click on view tags and you can see that edge to edge is marked because when I imported these, Creative Studio recognized that as an edge-to-edge -edge pattern. I also have a tag word that says E to E, and I'm going to hit plus. And the reason that I have this is because some designers put the word pano, P-A-N-O, or they may put B to B, 
in the name of the pattern. And Creative Studio does not always recognize those patterns as an edge to edge. So I just want a tag that says E to E. And I'm going to save and close. Now this one could be another frame. So I'm going to go back and type in frame and hit the plus sign. If it does not populate in this larger white box, then it has not assigned that tag or that collection to that pattern. So I'm going to save and close. Once I get all of those done, and I do this every time I get new patterns, once those are done, I'm going to select the first one, hold down my control key, and select each one of those new patterns, and I'm going to right click and you see right down here where it says sync backup to cloud I don't have to do a full backup to be able to add these patterns to my database in the cloud so that's going to save you some time you do have to have an internet connection I'm going to left click on sync backup to cloud it's a little bit different box it looks a little bit different but it's a lot faster and if I do this each time I get patterns and I organize them, then I'm able to stay organized better with my patterns instead of having to go back and do whatever cleanup work. If, for instance, I decide, well, I wanted to make this one circular, I can right click, view tags, and I can type in circular or type in the C and it automatically brings that up. I'm gonna hit the plus sign. I'm gonna save and close and I can select that one and say sync back up to cloud and it will do that one. And now my database in my cloud and my database here is the same and they are organized. So that's just a little something that I do every single time that I get patterns because if you do them in chunks like that, then it makes it a whole lot less overwhelming whenever you look at all of the patterns that you have to stay organized with. doesn't mean you don't change your mind or you can't change your mind. It's just a little tip that I hope will help you in keeping your patterns organized. Thank you.